Hey people, Intrad here, it's PV3 Faction War this is, Quest for Redemption, and Ordomalius versus Space Marines. Someone's been naughty. Ordomalius are all brother captains. We have Orconero, Dice Roll, and this is the Tenso. These guys walk through objects and cannot be suppressed. Durable heroes with strong offense and support fighting in melee. With the Red Space Marines, it's Red Crown 555 as a Tech Marine. Starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage can support with structures and repair alongside. Cry this crisis with an apothecary. Support hero fighting in melee combat by default begins with a heal, a passive health regeneration aura. The Salamander's elite scheme here. And rounding off the teams, Carleone is what I'm gonna say. With a force commander, very strong offense fighting in melee combat. You can also tank, disrupt and support with some good old Blood Ravens kicking off in the mid. Looks like Dice Roll has pushed against two players here. So Cry and Carleone should be able to deal with it. Already Strike Squad forced off with all the Crack and Bolt Tactical Marines shooting at them. I think they should have sent in, well they should have waited for the Tenso. And then both send in their brother captains against the Tax. And actually put their Strike Squad on ranged stance and shoot the Scouts. Strike Squad range damage was nerfed in 298 but still enough to pressure Scouts to run away I think. But that's not what we got. We got a kind of a, a sloppy push. They did kill a tactical marine, but they lost at least one strat squad model. I think they only lost one. I think the other squad just got heavily damaged and they didn't drop any stormtroopers. These guys are actually capping towards the south. More stormtroopers on the way for Orconero. How's it going in the north? Uncapped VP. Here comes the assist from Red. Oh, this is Red Crown. Assist from Cry. I guess Red Crown gave up the fight there for a second. Just pulled back, got some assistance, and now they're gonna get the VP with fast capping tactical marines. But the carry just helping out. I don't think they need it. More crack on bolts being popped. These guys have their book, the Tomes of Titan. That could be nasty if they can coordinate some banishments at good times on good targets. Looks like these guys are indeed in ranged stance doing their I think it's 12 damage per hit down from 15 damage per hit. Not sure what the actual DPS went to. So they're a little bit less generalist, a bit more leaning towards their melee prowess in tier one. Stormtroopers stealing that natural VP away from the Space Marines. Brother Captain falls up here. Is it a Northeast natural power for the Order Malleus team? Strike Squad having to abandon their ranged firefight go into some melee, throw out the banishment and then flee because they were very low. Tech Marine and Apothecary both very low. Decent grenades going in there. Customized Storm Bolter up for the Apothecary. Solid choice against three brother captains I think. And we have Purification rights in. Stormtroopers just losing too many models to those tacks. Tech Marine runs away, okay. In the mid, everything's smacking on a power node for the Emperor. I guess they're all doing things for the Emperor today. Red Crown's got some Devastators, but they got caught out of position a little bit. I think they were covering a bit too straight ahead there. Strike Squad aren't going to give up the run. Are these guys getting shotguns? Are they getting shotguns? That should help. Devastators will set up now with that Heavy Bolter. Limited firing arc, doing huge damage as enemies get closer, also suppressing them, as you can see. And Interceptors on the field for both Dice Roll and the Tenso. The Brother Captain can support melee squad superbly well so i would like to see them lean into that with purifiers and stuff and i get i guess one way to deal with land raiders is dropping triple paladins on it that would be pretty effective here are the interceptors of the tenso teleporting melee infantry there you go can they they do kill the scouts well done fellas now they're gonna get a decap on the vp i suppose and they're on the power. Is it a northwest natural power for the red space marine team that's being bashed? There was a purification from the strike squad to give the interceptors their energy back, which is nice of them. Gonna get another gen, I think. Oh, maybe not. Those guys were pretty close to dropping a model potentially, but they do run off. And Carleone with an assault squad on the field. These guys jump on you and disrupt you when they land. Interceptors need to wait for their tier 2 squad leader to disrupt. I think these guys are going to be okay on retreat here. Looks like it. And Stormtrooper is going to show up, put some pressure on. 
Maybe they can get the scouts in their sights. These guys have their sergeant in the mid, turning blue for the strat squad. And to the north, we are blue. Can they repel this attack coming in from Red Crown? Are you floating, Red Crown? Red Crown is floating a little bit in tier one here. Could go tier two. There it is. Didn't float too long. Devastator setting up. Scouts pulling back, trying to get them in the firing arc. There it is. We are the hammer popped by the brother captain. No sign of four swords yet, but we do have the unending purge for the Tenso. Some grenades and banishment going in there. Passively heals the brother captain for 1.15%. It's a very specific number of health for every melee attack and 0.5% on ranged attacks. Also gives them some passive energy regen. So a nice passive accessory you could just throw on him for some benefits. Well ahead of everyone else going tier 2 red crown. Are you getting power bashed again though? No war gear up, no. They did get shotguns and a sergeant and devastators. So it's not like they didn't spend any power in tier 1. What is this? Not sure what these tactical means are up to. They're using the very top edge of the map to try and get a power bash, I guess. We'll see how it turns out. Here come interceptors. Getting rid of the devastators there. Doing their job. Could have stayed in player, actually. Could have kept them in play there, I think. Maybe afraid of a grenade coming in from the scouts. Brother Captain gets in there. Good grenade from the stormtroopers. Scouts did not drop a model, though. And the stormtroopers did. Now they run. There's only one model. Node is being replaced. And all three gens had to be replaced there as well. as a full bash. A 425 rebuy. 125 for the node and 100 each for the gens. 436 to 407. Not quite as painful when you can split those costs between three players though. Carleone did not replace their scouts. And I don't think Fry got anything else up in tier 1, right? They are floating quite a lot here. Blame attacks for Carleone. There's the jump on the strat squad. Does not go for the stormtroopers. The easy fight goes for the strat squad. I guess they were quite low. But the, yeah, double strat squad just pounced on the assault squad with the brother captain in there. And he does start with a power weapon, 30 DPS power weapon. And that assault squad got kind of messed up. Drop pod comes in. To reinforce, I guess. Oh no, he actually got some more attacks out of it. There you are. Right on the screen, Indrid. Pay attention. Got confused because I saw a flamer firing, so I was like, it can't be a new tax squad if they've already got a flamer. But they were in there, blending in with the grass and that. Sneaky, sneaky fellas. Purifiers on the way for dice roll. Got some late interceptors for Orconero. It can often be pretty awesome if you bring out a jump squad in late tier 1 or in tier 2 can really throw off your opponent because now they have to worry about a jump squad all of a sudden when maybe they wanted to get a transport vehicle or something out in tier 2 there's the energy burst on the scouts do they run? they don't run they're shooting the crap out of those stormtroopers actually here come the strats but in melee tax almost got wiped by the interceptors they have their justicar now he gets a power weapon and gives them the furious intervention teleport there it is that disrupts targets such a cool squad the way they teleport in like that and the scouts got away uh oh overcharged plasma tech marine going absolutely mental gets almost 70 dps plasma with that thing pretty nuts for 10 seconds and signum armor for the marked target but the Interceptors respond. Mind blades up on those fellas there for the Tenso. It's basically the same buff as use your choppers, I think, but it costs a bit more red, I believe. I believe that's how it works. I think it's 100 red and use your choppers is 75. Maybe. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong, but it's like a 35% damage increase and a bunch of melee skill, I believe. 25% melee increase, something like that. It's nasty. And he gives you tons of melee skills so you don't get knocked over. Purifiers have their Justicar. Gives them a heavy melee Nemesis Demon Hammer. The other fellows with power melee. Should be quite powerful with Brother Captain support. Nemesis Force Halberd for dice roll for some DPS power melee. And a Halberd for the Tenso. No sign of a bulwark to support the melee squads. We do have a Grey Knight Dreadnought though for the Tenso. Pretty awesome to see pressuring this northwestern power they got it in fact they got it 
got some plasma stormtroopers too. And there's your teleport on the devs. Devs have been shut down pretty hard. There's a shotgun blast. We're trying to help them out. Grenade. Oh, it was a psych out grenade. Suppresses and drains your energy, I believe. That's from the interceptors. We get away with two models. And Brother Captain's going to get a deep at, decap there. Red Crown struggling a little bit. Might need some help from Cry. He's gone anointed power axe apothecary. That's good to send on the brother captain and drain his energy away because he can be quite energy intensive. So can a lot of the Order Malia stuff. Now these guys have halberds though, they're pretty scary. 83 DPS power melee with a splash on it. 333 to 340. Scout squad being sneaky fellas. Gonna go and maybe get that northern contested power in the mid, it's kicking off. Grey Knight Dreadnought is here with this big old flame cannon thing. Incinerator, I'm not sure what they call it actually, technically. We've got some Psychic Field which shuts down ability usage. Great tool to have against an Apothecary of course. But it's useful versus all heroes, they all have something they want to do. And they get through. Last Cannon's getting shot but it's not on the Dreadnought, that's for sure. Maybe the interceptors can go and pressure them. Nope, they've got no energy to jump. Brother Captain's level 2, now getting Mantle of Terror dice roll. Nothing else yet for the Tenso, and no war gear whatsoever for Orconero. What about Mr. Force Commander? Does have the Thunder Hammer, as I guess was expected. Awesome disruption. We'll see if they can use it. Dice rolls, Mantle of Terror is in for the Battle Right Seal. That could be super effective. 333 to 300, 2 to 1 cap for Ordo Malleus. They've really come out swinging in tier 2. There's the battle rights you see there. Some health regen over time. Would be great to have an Apothecary on your team when you're using that to stack up. But alas, they face an Apothecary. Look how far forward the Grey Knight Dreadnought is. Now has a multi melter and backs the hell away. Librarian on the field for Carleone. Got some Stone Guard veterans as well. They can use their Kraken bolts against the Strike Squad and stuff, and Vengeance rounds against the Grey Knight Dreadnought. Maybe they won't need to. Being chased. The attacks have plasmas though, and the Laz Cannon can't keep pace with it. Or maybe they can now. There's Veil of Time. Means they won't have to set up, and they move faster too. Dreadnought turns around to shoot. Needed to keep moving, I think. Last cannon can fire. One more might do it. There is the psychic field again. And just in time, the strike squad get onto the last cannon. That was so close. The dreadnought survives for now. Librarian. Not sure what he's going after. Does have his staff, which ups his melee damage to over 70 DPS melee. There's that battle rights again from dice roll. And brother captain levels to three. Level 2 for the Tenso and Orconero at level 1. Does have that Northern VP and continues to pressure here. They've done really well in this game so far. Orconero and their tier 3. So is Red Crown though and Dice Roll has just gone. Is it straight into Paladins for these guys? They need some more red to get that roll in. So maybe we'll see a Voltimore or something first. Triple three to two three one. Blue team haven't lost a VP for a while here. Red team can't quite stabilize in the middle of the map. Being pushed back some by some aggressive Ordo Malleus shenanigans. Leaning, leaning into their melee, kneeling into these brother captains as well. They're doing a lot of work. Hell of a lot of work. Levels to three there to Tenso. Just got hit by a last cannon, I think. And flees. Note that even though he wields a two-handed melee weapon, he still uses his sidearm while he chases stuff down. So Unending Purge doesn't lose that benefit. Grabbing the VP was Dice Roll there. Now in amongst some Stern Guard and chops one down quick. 21 red. Hell of a lot. We've got a Sacred Standard Force Commander here. Need res, says Orconero. Down near the VP being retaken by Red Crown. Don't think they've lost a unit, Red Crown, have they? Got some more tax and a Predator tank on the way. 
Predator could do really well in the north here. There's quite a lot of room to move. Got to be careful of the tank traps, of course. And a beacon going up for Red Crown. I think it's a bit too close to the stairs for my liking. I think I would have put it over here. Slightly safer from the flanks coming from the mid. But being in a nice centralized position is a nice place to retreat to. It's up. Provides a small amount of health region around it as well. But you can retreat to it and reinforce off it is the big thing. Interceptors chuck out a psych out grenade. Those guys retreat. As you can see, they're retreating back to the beacon. It can be a bit of a trap. It can be really big nuke bait. What is this? Is this paladins from someone? It is. Paladins coming in from Orconero. Those guys with their plasmas should turn to shoot them here. Tank is getting shots on paladins. Have a massive bucket of hit points. 5,200. 5,400, sorry. Super heavy infantry armor and heavy melee hammers. But they got wrecked by plasma and stuff there. How many plasma attacks are there? Three. And the tech marine has the plasma gun as well. Not to mention all the bolt of fire and the tank shooting. A lot of damage on those paladins. Didn't drop a model yet though. They're being chased. They are being chased. Down goes the Tensos, brother captain. Paladins drop a model. Still being chased. They've used their teleport. These guys cannot retreat from battle. And they've spent resources on L Liber Demonica too. Those guys need to keep moving. Interceptors teleporting in. I think they're going to be okay, but they dropped a lot. Two models off your paladins is a big chunk of reinforcement to do. Angels of Death popped here for Cry. Giving 50% damage resist. And weapon knockback immunity. Used to be full knockback immunity, but that was nerfed. Ultima of the Dread is level 2. Orconero down to 2 units now. Stormtroopers... And the Paladins, they got a bit battered in the north. But the Captain's down now in a different location. And so is the Tenso Dice Roll. Could get a bunch of XP if they could get those revives going. But they're pushing. Going after that Apothecary. Often I say, got to pressure the Apothecary. Especially late game, he can become a real support powerhouse. But he's going to go down here. Down he goes. And typically goes down pretty quick. Got to get after it. Don't think the brother captain's going to get any reviving done here. Going to be forced off in a second. There he goes. If those tacks were a bit more lively. Oh, they don't need to. I was going to say they could have melleed him down in retreat, but they didn't need to. Had the damage. All three brother captains down. The Tenso has just revived himself. And has the Holy Armor of Titan. Which gives him a bunch of hit points, a bunch of health regen, and immortal. Don't think. Did you get anything yet, Orcanero? I don't think so. Space Marines starting to stabilize now. They have the Northern VP. Have their natural. Might see some scouts. In fact, scouts right now going for the Horde Malleus natural VP. So they might get a triple cap. At least they're going to get a double for a while. Here are the Paladins now reinforced for Orconero. These guys can't level up. So they won't get more than the 5,400 hit points. Dice roll with a Land Raider Crusader Hurricane Bolters. On the side sponsors, Multimelter on top and a twin linked assault cannon can reinforce off it and you get some health and energy regen. Speaking of Land Raiders, Red Crown with a Land Raider, Land Raider Redeemer on the way. Slightly shorter range weaponry than the Crusader has Flamestorm cannons but you can retreat back to that thing so it's a massive boon in the 3v3. They've got the Beacon and the Land Raider now. Good special from the Librarian, uses it to escape. Force Commander now growing in stature in this game. Because that Sacred Standard is such a huge force multiplier in a big 3v3. And there's big team fights. Crusader kicking in with all its bolt guns. Suppressing the Force Commander there, needs to run. Interceptors went after him, but a little bit late. They can get on the VP. Oh, they were already on it. Stone Guard are trying to take it back here. Oh, they got energy back immediately after that first jump from the Strat Squad, I imagine. Although, I believe that the Brother Captains get Sanctify. I'm pretty sure all three Ordo Malleus heroes get Sanctify. They could spend red to give energy back to a unit. Orbital is hitting a Land Raider. It's doing a lot of damage. All three beams on it. It's going to go down if it's not careful. 
Wow, that's close. 70 hit points on this thing. Not sure why it wasn't moved there. I guess Dice Roll was just not paying attention. 70 hit points, indeed. Now it's being repaired, but it might, might need to back the hell off. Paladins get marked targeted. It's bad for them. That's from the Tech Marine and his Signum Armor. We now have Orbs as well. There's Immortal popped by the Tenso. And down goes the tank. Multimod the Dreadnought getting it done. Now taking shots though from a Land Raider Redeemer. Has a Multimelter of its own. Two Flamestorm Cannons and that Twin Linked Assault Cannon. Not to mention the Frag Assault Grenade Launcher on the front, which is awesome. Those guys jumped inside the Land Raider, I think. Another Land Raider Crusader on the way for Orconero. I guess the last one did go down. While I was watching up here, or comes an Orbital from one, I guess it was from Dice Roll. They're not getting Paladins anytime soon. Paladins getting marked targeted and potentially chased out and dropped. They might get dropped here. The beacon was destroyed. Paladins still trying to leave. Plasmas are shooting at them. There's a battle right. Might help keep them alive. Doesn't give you huge health regen. Looks like it's going to keep them alive with the help of the second. Land Raider Crusader. This one is from Open Arrow. 243 to 143. Single cap for Ordo Malleus. Here's the Paladins of the Tenso now. Going after the Apothecary. Should smack him down pretty fast. Only level 3. Retreats back to the Land Raider. Barely gets away. These Paladins need to be careful. They can maybe teleport back to the Crusader there. There's that onslaught ability. I don't think it does good damage to vehicles. Oh man, they might drop here. They're very low. How have they not dropped a model yet? There we go. They're so very low. They're reinforcing. Drop two models. They're reinforcing off the Crusader. They need to get close to it to finish the reinforce. So 243 to 107. These guys in retreat. I guess they tried to go after this. Land Raider Redeemer is there. That is Cry, Cry's Land Raider. Another Crusader on the way for Dice Roll. They had the first one, right? I'm pretty sure they had the first one. Remains of it have maybe been destroyed already in the south. Orbital again. This time from Orconero, I believe. decent hits on this stuff. Allows the Brother Captain just to smack on them with impunity. Brother Kerry tried to heal them. Comes a whole bunch of Border Malleus stuff. Double Paladins on the Assault Terminators who have Lightning Claws. Why are they going after the Land Raider with Lightning Claws? Lightning Claws are so incredibly painful for infantry but not ideal for taking on a vehicle. They drop a model. I think they're going to be okay. And they're all being buffed up by the Force Commander, of course. They turn again. I thought they were going to jump in the Land Raider, but they turn for some more fighting. It's a lot of plasma. It's a lot of plasma. They're running out of VPs, though, the Space Marines. Auto Malleus have hit back really well. The second Paladins coming in have proven to be a bit too much to deal with in a single fight so far. Or Canero drops. The Tenso drops. Dice Roll's still alive. In fact, he's saving his own VP here. Has Mantle of Terror. And the Nemesis Force Halberd, of course. Probably popped battle rights already. Purifiers. Level 3 purifiers that long charge range for it can really threaten a vehicle with the Justicar in there. And we've got some Psy Cannon Interceptors at level 4. Big threat to the Land Raider. 240 to 77. There's a 2 to 1 for the Space Marines. What is this though? Oh, Intercept is using their mobility to get on the VP there. But the Captain's still trying to fight the Land Raider. Here come Carleone's Terminators. This is going to be bad news for the Interceptors. And I don't think they can teleport again that quickly. They need to retreat. There's an energy burst to slow down the Terminators. It's very handy to have. Commander is running in the wrong direction. Not sure what he's up to. 
Scared off those fellas anyway. Back to the north. Double Land Raider Crusaders against the Land Raider Redeemer and a whole bunch of heavy armor. There's Mark Target up on the Paladins. And Orbital thrown in again. Is that a Vortum Razor back there? Something's capping. It's the Stormtroopers trying to cap. It is indeed a Vortum Razor back for Orconero back there. It's not really getting involved though. The Paladin's having to teleport out. The Tenso's Paladins are also okay. They're reinforcing off the Land Raiders. Strike Squad. Level 4 Strike Squad trying to mix it up. 237 to 68 on the VPs. What is this? That's some purifiers guarding there. Land Red Redeemer having another, another run at it, thanks to Pry. Terminator's busy capping. Is that really what you want to be doing now, fellas? Yes, you always need requisition, eh? Orkin Arrow's now got purgation with a conversion beamer. And that Land Red is pretty low. But the carry trying to fight Paladins. Down goes the Baltimore Razorback. Did not take long with double Laz cannons shooting at it. But the carry falls over. Purgation tried to move up and they are in range of the Land Raider. Boom. Does more damage the further away you are from the conversion beamer. Land Raider falls. That was Orpanero's Crusader. Paladins very low. The Tenso's Paladins drop. Those guys had Mark Target on them. Oh no, Orpanero got a sound bug. Okay, that... That explains why stuff is dying on Orcanero's army. They are AI controlled most likely. Can they still win? Looks like they're still going to win it here. Looks like Ordo Malleus have done enough. Force Commander's on their VP. But the Tenso is on their VP. So they probably have enough. There's a double cap quickly as well. Back to the 2-1. to one. Can they hold this VP? We lost, says Dice Roll. Two to one. Dice Roll may be thinking again. I think they've got it. All the Malleus take it. The Paladins carried so much there. So, so much. Even with all that plasma and stuff, they did a huge amount of work. Level three by the captain for Orconero. Unfortunately dropped right at the end there. But they still won. Dice rolls by the captain got level 6. The Tenso at level 9. Holy crap. Did a lot of work with the Halberd. Tech Marine also level 9. Must have picked off a bunch of models with the plasma gun. Level 6 apothecary down. And a level 3 force commander. Very near to level 4 though. Was on the VP at the end. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Big thanks for these players for taking part in a faction war for our amusement. Attend so for hosting a lobby and sending it in, and I'll see you guys next time.